All right, back with Cedar, and it's been over a week since we filmed because she wasn't with us. And so she went back home by my parents for um, about a week, and then we were up this last weekend over the holiday, and we picked her up and brought her back. And I would say in that period of time, I don't know that she's a ton worse. Um, she has gotten, she's reminded me of how, um, how short her focus is. I, I, just being away from her for a week and back to our dogs, I went, man, there's a huge difference. And so sometimes um, I'm, I oversee it. Now we're back and she's back and I've got a little bit better understanding of how important it is that we remain patient with her and remain consistent with her with the idea of um, we gotta slow down and, and get her to focus because she is just a dog that wants to go fast all the time. And it really stresses out my parents, I think, because my parents aren't necessarily the fastest people. Um, and I don't think I'm the fastest person, but physically it makes it challenging to try to keep up with her. And then when you do, it just gets worse. And then it gets frustrating. And then you want to punt her because she just wears you out. Um, and so she's high, high energy. She's real go-go. Like this right now is great. Um, now it's super hot out. So it's middle of the afternoon and I don't recommend um, trying to train this time of day because it's hard to get anything out of it. Um, I am going to show you, because we've got limited time with filming, um, I'm going to show you something that we started doing. And I'm going to show you, we did it last week before she went home. And she didn't, she wouldn't do it. So I, I took a tennis ball, I threw it out there. She, just to see. I mean, the dog's a golden retriever. Stop. The dog's a golden retriever. She's got natural retrieve. Stop. Stop. She's got a lot of natural retrieve in her somewhere, but she has so little control and so little focus, it goes, it overcomes the natural retrieving that we're looking for. So there's good. So when she comes in and she tries to mouth, there was a little bit of a standoff there between her and I, and I'm never going to lose those battles. And I'm also never going to lose my cool. And I'm also never going to hold a grudge against her. So I'm done with it. You know, I, it doesn't bother me that she just was a brat. And, and now she's doing really well, so I'll make sure that she knows that it's pretty good and she realizes that I don't hold grudges. But getting back to the story of last week, I took a tennis ball and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to see if I can get her to retrieve it. We did a video with her making a retrieve earlier. Um, she couldn't do it. We got her to make little puppy retrieves kind of here on the porch. That was two weeks ago. Um, she's done, she's, her teething is done. She's got her adult teeth in, so that looks good. And if you remember, or if you go back to the beginning of this series, she couldn't make a retrieve out there. She made one in here. So last week before she went home, I tried it with a tennis ball. I threw it out there. She chases it down. She picked it up and she ran around with it and wasn't gonna come back. And she got excited. One of her things is she likes to put the ball on the ground and roll on it. Like it must feel good on her back. So she did that and so, I couldn't get her to come back. So then I went in the house. Now I wasn't filming this, obviously. So then I went in the house. I got Taylor, my old dog, who's sitting on the porch right now. And we're gonna try to reenact it. Now, will it be better than what it was the first time? Probably, because she is a real smart dog and I do think she's starting to get, the breakthrough with her was, instead of it being a game of keep away and piss off my owner, it turned into bring it back to him and he'll, <clears throat> he'll throw it again for me. And, if, and, he, and he's happy when I bring it back to him. And we turned it into a fun game. And the way I did it was I used Taylor by having Taylor go out because Taylor's super under control and really relaxed. And she's always gonna go out and bring it back. And I don't use other dogs to teach other dogs. I don't think that was, she wasn't teaching her how to retrieve. She was getting this dog to realize if I go out and I go back into him, nothing bad happens. In fact, good things come from it. So it was a little bit of lead by example probably. So. We're gonna take, and the other thing I did was I took two tennis balls because I got her to come back and I threw the other one and she focused on the one that was in my hand. So I, I like how she was just about to lay down. Come here. Instead of me reaching out to her, I'm gonna have her come to me. Come on, come on, good. And then I'm gonna take this off and we're just not gonna, good. 
And I might even turn this into an exercise. And we, if you watch back on some of our earlier episodes, sit. I like taking this on and off and not freaking out about it because she's free. And I turn it into a very comfortable thing where we can put it on and we can come in and we can take it off without her throwing her head back <clears throat> and wanting to take off running. So we're just getting a chance to practice that. Good. Put that away. Now, I'm gonna try it without Taylor and see how she does. So I'm just gonna simply, now, super hot out. The reason I have a cold bucket of water right there. I just watered her about five minutes ago. Um, I'm gonna do this for a very short period of time. I actually think that the heat might help me because I'm gonna make a few retrieves with her, but I think she's gonna be tired pretty easily, and I also think she's gonna to wanna to come back and get in the shade. So I'm gonna use everything I can to help shape the behavior and get her to understand what it is I'm looking for her to do. Good. Sit. And there's the, the you know, lack of focus, she, but she doesn't really know what's coming because we don't do this typically. I'm not gonna ask her to be steady. Good girl. Now I made retrieves in the water with her. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Look at you, like a rock star. Wouldn't do that a week ago. I mean, that was really nice. Good, here. Now you'll notice I'm not in a rush to take it away from her. Now I'm not gonna let her go lay down, Taylor. Taylor says, boy, I kinda wanna get on that too. Um, we did this in the water this weekend. This is another reason why this retrieve is probably really good compared to what it was. Come here, come here, come here, that's it. Because in the water, she can't get away from me. And so we teased her with a game of fetch in the water where we pitched tennis balls and puppy bumpers out at short distances because at first she'd only swim out so far and then she'd turn around and want to swim back. She wouldn't want to go out. She just wasn't confident enough to go get it. So we went short and we slowly added distance to it, slowly added distance. Then I'd make her wait and I'd let the other dogs make a couple of retrieves and I'd put her on a lead and I'd just hold on to her. And she wanted to go, but she had it kind of built up this energy and this drive in her so that when we went a little bit further, she had that extra push to go out and get it. So she did it and she'd go out and she'd come back in and I never let her get up onto shore. She always came back into me and I'd take the dummy from her and I'd praise her for it and I'd pitch it again for her. And so you can see, I go to pitch it and she's, she's thinking, boy, there's, there's another one, there's another one. Now she's pretty smart too in realizing there's not one there. Here, 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 sit, good. Now eventually I'll steady her up, but there's no reason to work on steadiness right now until I get a dog that can retrieve. And she could not retrieve a week ago. Um, that's why I really wish you'd see that. That was phenomenal. Out and back, I've not had her do that yet. Come here, come here. Cedar, come on. Now, again, part of it is this heat. She likes laying under the shade. Why not? Why wouldn't you? Good girl. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Cedar, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, let's go. Come on, that's a good dog. That's a good dog. Right back to me, excellent. Good girl. And I'm gonna love her up for it. Good girl. Now, you're, I know what you're thinking is at home, my dog doesn't do that. She didn't do it a week ago. We did some things, I wish like hell I would have been able to show you that. But what we did with, when we came to Taylor was, the trick for that was, She'd run out, get it, and want to run around, not bring it back. So I took a second tennis ball and I roll it out. And what would she do? She'd abandon that one and go get that one. And then she'd want to play keep away. And so I didn't care which one she had. I just took Taylor, a nice old dog that's real good, and I'd send Taylor to pick up whichever one she didn't have. And then Taylor would pick it up and she'd turn around and come right back in with me, to me. And what, she had one in her mouth at the time. So she followed Taylor in. So I came in and I paid no attention to Cedar. I paid attention to Taylor. I took it from Taylor and I said, good girl. And then I'd hold it like this and then Cedar would be sitting there and I'd say, well, you're good too. I'd pet her, I'd take hers and I'd throw it and I'd let Cedar go get it. And then she'd run out and want to make a mess with it. So I'd throw a second one. Well, then she'd go switch and go to that one. And then I'd let Taylor pick one up. And all of a sudden after three or four times of that, she would go out, have one in her mouth, Taylor would have one in her mouth, they'd come back in, I'd take it from both of them and we'd reset the game. That was the first breakthrough in, and I did it, I got her to do it three times. That was it, and then I was done. From there we went up north last weekend, we made, I bet you this dog made 25, 30 retrieves at least in the water. Um, kept her cool, it was real hot out. This is just super hot, that's why I'm not pushing it either. Like a couple of retrieves with her is plenty. Ready, sit. Good girl, come on, 
Good girl. And I mean, doesn't she look like a natural retriever all of a sudden? This, this did not look, this game didn't look like this until we figured out how to crack it. Come here, come here. So we just had to find the combination. I always talk about finding like a, it's like your old locker combination. You gotta turn one, then you gotta go back the other way, then you go back the other way. And if you miss up one of those three numbers, it doesn't work. So the right way to do it with her would not be this. Like I would have started out when she was a puppy and I just started forming good habits early on in a hallway with a balled up sock. I talk about that all the time. Could I do that with her? Yeah, I could have, but I just had to, I got creative and I, I tried something the other night and I forgot about, I mean, I'm not, now, come here, come here, come here, come here. I'm gonna work on, I'm gonna see if I can't steady her up just a split second and then that'll be it. That's plenty for here. Come here, Cedar, Cedar, come here. Come here, come on. She's telling me a lot right now. She's going, uh, I'm pretty good. So, you know, the heat, the humidity, good. Sit, sit. Cedar. There, I steadied her up. Get her out, come on, come on, come on, come on. And I wanna quit before she quits, come on. I wanna quit before she gets so tired that she says, I don't wanna do it anymore. And then we form that habit we want the habit to be, boy, that was a lot of fun. I wouldn't mind probably doing one more, but before we get there, we quit. Good. And that was excellent. Like my dad will be real happy to watch this episode because that really looked like a retriever to me. And now I'm back to this. And I can put this tennis ball out of the way. This is why I use a training bag whenever I'm training any of my dogs. I got a training bag. You can put stuff away. It's out of sight. It's out of mind. It's hard for her to focus when I've got tennis balls in my pockets and in my hands. Come on. Come on. Get up. So then I'll just sit here and I'll do this for a little while. And there's really nowhere for her to go. There's no like big rush of freedom where she says, I'm going to take off running. If she does, I don't care. Go do your thing. Now I don't want her to, but why would she have a need to right now? She's, she's kind of tired. It's a lot cooler right here. So this is a good little time to practice. This is, this is a session. People have asked, we just, didn't we just do a podcast about what do we do all day long with them? And, um, because her schedule is different. Her schedule at my parents' house. She's in the kennel at my parents' house and she barks in the kennel there. She doesn't bark here. I think it's a disrespect thing. She disrespects my mom and dad right now. We gotta get her. So what I'm gonna do, what my hope for them is I can start to, reshape her behaviors significantly enough to make it make her pl pleasant make her that we we people really like her i mean everybody likes her but she's just a little brat at times and it makes it hard to like and so we want to reshape the behaviors and then we're going to have to retrain my mom and dad to become a little more assertive to be become a little bit firmer leader um, meaning not necessarily harder, but firmer, bolder, more confident so that she looks at them and goes, I'll do what you want me to do. That's not barking in the kennel. She's barking at the kennel because she knows it's driving my mom and dad nuts. And she probably gets yelled at a little bit. And that negative attention to her is attention. And she thinks it's, it's better than nothing. So we're working on it. It's gonna be a slow process. I was real frustrated bringing her back because I went, man, She's just such a, she's such a load. She's, she's just a, it makes my dog seem really easy at times. But I also think, you know, I have little moments like this where this was a really nice session. I, I'm really happy with this. And so small baby steps are what keep us going and finding little bits of success. And it, it could be really minute. The worst session in the world, I still am gonna try to find something positive out of it probably quit on that and and this was this was fantastic this was a great session this actually makes my day my day has been a little stressful and this makes my day a little bit better so we use the heat today to help us because she's got she shuts down a little quicker um, I do think it's a very fine line of safety I don't fool around with heat um, working any of these older dogs because they're just gonna they're, they're way too susceptible to overheating. But with her, we took advantage of it. We made three, little, three four little retrieves, gave her a desirable place to come back where there's cold water, there's shade, there's me sitting down. It's real low, it's real stre low stress. It's kind of a fun game and she did great with it. Yeah.